this video the top 10 natural supplements that actually work and that can lower your creatinine levels and make a difference in delaying dialysis and well that are not the case of fiber Catherine here, I've been helping people beating chronic kidney disease and improving their creatinine levels for more than a decade now. And what I want to share with you today is a video you absolutely cannot miss. This is my updated end of 2023 list of the 10 best natural supplements for people with kidney disease. These are the supplements that work. Today, there are going to be three categories diabetes, high blood pressure, and detoxifiers. And there is going to be a winner for each category plus a single winner of the whole top 10. And don't miss that one because it's a supplement that helps a huge number of kidney disease patients to improve. It's something many of you guys could be using to delay dialysis. And no, it's not a case of fiber. Okay, let's start now with my personal top three supplements for diabetes. Diabetes is the most common cause for kidney disease in the world. It's clear that we need to stop it if we want to help our kidneys improve. There are three supplements in particular that I want you to consider. First entry is our number 10 for today, which is number 10, alpha lipoic acid. This is an antioxidant that is made naturally in the body and also found in foods. But you should be supplementing it in order to achieve a therapeutic dosage for diabetes. Because what really matters here is that alpha lipoic acid or ALA in short has been used in studies aimed at reversing diabetic kidney disease. So how effective is ALA for those with diabetes? Well, according to this 2021 meta-analysis published on the BMC endocrine disorders, ALA is very effective. Researchers here concluded that in diabetic patients also taking a sardine, a very common blood pressure medication, ALA could significantly reduce the level of urinary albumin and oxidative stress. And guys, keep in mind that reducing proteinuria significantly is a huge achievement when it comes to kidney health. Now, alpha lipoic acid may also reduce symptoms like pain, tingling and prickling in the feet and legs caused by diabetes. And this is why in some European countries, doctors are starting to prescribe ALA to diabetic patients. Our next entry now, a molecule that improves insulin sensitivity. Number nine is chromium. Chromium is an essential trace element we get from foods such as liver, but also whole grains, beef, mushrooms, and legumes. What this molecule does in the body is stabilizing and reducing blood sugar levels by improving insulin sensitivity. Just like for ALA, you won't really get the benefits by eating more mushrooms or legumes because you need a higher dose of chromium, more than what you can get from foods. Therapeutic dose for chromium is 500 to 1000 micrograms and that's 20 to 40 times more than what you can find in foods. This is why some diabetes patients take chromium picolinate supplements. Now, what you should know about chromium picolinate is that, like all the supplements I talk about, you should consult your doctor before taking it. Chromium in particular may have interactions with the insulin you may be taking because it's what it does, right? It makes insulin, either from the body or from medications, more effective. That's how it helps you. Now you may ask, do we actually need to take all these supplements? No, don't think, not even for a moment, that you will need to take all these 10 supplements to improve. No, the idea here is that each one of these can help some of you, all right? So if you find even just one thing that will help you, that's a win. 
And by the way, I also decided not to include essential vitamins and minerals in this video. So I won't talk, for example, about things such as vitamin D or magnesium that are also extremely important, keeping them for another video. Up next, maybe one of the most powerful natural supplements in existence. Eight winner in the diabetes category, berberine. This is an incredibly powerful supplement and it's my number one recommendation for diabetes. There is emergent research showing us that this supplement can be effective against diabetes because of its sugar lowering properties. This is a natural compound that may lower fasting and post meal glucose levels significantly. And when I say significantly, I'm talking about a 30% reduction in fasting glucose levels actually. Berberine is also one of the few natural weight loss supplements that actually work as intended. Berberine is so powerful that some primary care providers are now recommending it before prescribing, for example, metformin. Yes, this supplement alone can really make a huge difference. And if you want to learn more about what really works for diabetes, watch my video up here and also down in the description. Up next, what are the most powerful supplements when it comes to high blood pressure? Hypertension is the second leading cause of kidney damage. Now, the thing about hypertension is that it's also caused by impaired kidney function, which means that most kidney disease patients will have to deal with it at some point. Now, the question is, what can we use to beat it? Number seven is nitric oxide supplements. Nitric oxide is incredibly important for kidney and heart health because it's made by the body to tell the blood vessels to relax and this doesn't just lower blood pressure, it also improves circulation. Unfortunately, according to a study, the overall production of nitric oxide is decreased in people with chronic kidney disease. This won't just contribute to the risk for cardiovascular events, it can directly cause kidney damage. Good news is, you can easily get more nitric oxide through supplementation. There are a few ways to achieve this. Beets have this effect and you can also find them in powder form. Citrulline malate can also be used and that's very popular among athletes and among, well, men, especially in combination with L-arginine. These two supplements together are extremely powerful at improving nitric oxide production and improving circulation in the body at the point that they are even being used to treat erectile dysfunction in men. But this improvement in circulation is also very helpful for your heart and kidneys. Up next, a supplement that I recently talked about because it was used to get some stage 5 patients out of dialysis and that can also help with hypertension. Number 6, Coenzyme Q10. Now I usually recommend CoQ10 for its kidney protecting benefits. I talked about it recently because it was used to actually get dialysis patients out of dialysis. Yes, CoQ10 is that powerful. And you see, having low levels of these antioxidants is linked to a faster progression of kidney disease and you don't want to risk that, alright? But is CoQ10 also going to help with high blood pressure? Well, it depends. There is conflicting evidence about its effectiveness on blood pressure. It works for some people, it doesn't work for others. But why does that happen? Many studies have been done on CoQ10 as a way to lower blood pressure and there is a theory that I believe explains why some people are getting better results than others with it. It's because not everyone is deficient in CoQ10. Those who are deficient should be supplementing this one in particular. The benefits may be very significant. I especially recommend CoQ10 to people taking statins or to those over 50 years old. Up next, my personal number one when it comes to fighting high blood pressure naturally. Winner for high blood pressure, garlic peels. There are tons of studies telling us that garlic is extremely effective against hypertension. In particular, a recent meta-analysis of 12 trials and 553 hypertensive participants 
confirmed that garlic can lower systolic and diastolic pressure by an average of 8.3 over 5.5 millimeters of mercury. This is comparable to what you will get from standard antihypertensive medications, by the way. So clearly, garlic takes the number one spot in this top three of supplements to fight hypertension because while most antihypertensive medications have been linked to a long list of unwanted effects, including causing too high potassium levels and even kidney damage, garlic has a long list of kidney protecting benefits. It's an anti-inflammatory, it helps with diabetes, it can actually improve your insulin resistance while also increasing insulin production. And it also helps with cholesterol and more. But there are people that don't like to use raw garlic because it has a couple of side effects. Mostly, it can produce body odors that are not pleasant. So a better alternative may be odorless garlic supplements. There are a ton of different brands producing these supplements. Some I have even tried on myself. What I found out is that some brands work better than others, but a very good brand you can find is Kyolic. Kyolic is pricier than other brands, but it's what is usually used in most studies about garlic extract. So also consider that when choosing an odorless garlic supplement. And guys, did you know that you can also use garlic to make a tea? If you want to try it, watch my video about it. It's up here and also down in the description. Okay, up next, the last top three category is detoxifiers. These are those supplements that kidney disease patients can benefit from in order to detoxify uremic toxins naturally. We'll see why this is important now. Starting with number four, Fiber supplements. Okay, okay. No acacia fiber as promised. But I didn't say no psyllium husk. Did I? So yeah, consider this fiber supplement if you are looking for an alternative to acacia fiber when it comes to detoxify uremic toxins. But why is that important? You see, one of the main challenges of living with kidney disease is dealing with the accumulation of uremic toxins in your blood. These are harmful substances such as creatinine that cause the symptoms of kidney failure. And there are two main ways for the body to get rid of this course, the kidneys and the gut. This is why if you want to protect the kidneys, you should try to get rid of uremic toxins in the gut before they get into the bloodstream. You see, a large meta-analysis found out that kidney disease patients who supplemented dietary fiber had significantly lower levels of uremic toxins such as blood urea nitrogen, uric acid, and more, as we can see here. This is part of the reason why you should focus on eating more fiber-rich foods such as fruit and veggies. And you may supplement fiber as well in the form of psyllium husk, for example. Okay, time now to see a supplement that's incredibly powerful when it comes to detoxifying the kidneys. I'm talking about number three, calcium carbonate or TAMS. Calcium carbonate is a detoxifier that doctors prescribe very often to kidney patients. If you are not taking calcium carbonate already, talk to your doctor about it. The reason why I'm telling you this is phosphorus. Phosphorus is considered one of the most dangerous uremic toxins. It's linked to proteinuria, to heart disease, and to a faster kidney function decline. For these reasons, a huge part of the renal diet today revolves around limiting phosphorus intake. This is why many kidney disease patients use calcium carbonate. It binds with dietary phosphate in the intestines, forming calcium phosphate, which is not absorbed by the body. It's instead excreted in feces. Very useful to help the kidney improve, just like our next entry. Number two, sodium bicarbonate. Okay, yeah, we got a couple of things in this top 10 that your doctor should have probably talked to you about. But I know for experience that not every kidney disease patient knows about calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. So here we go. Sodium bicarbonate is the base, it's alkaline and it directly detoxifies excess acidity from the kidneys. It's always recommended for people with kidney problems to use this supplement. 
Now, there is just one problem with sodium bicarbonate. You need to be tested for sodium bicarbonate levels to know if you can benefit from it and in what dose. So if you are suffering from kidney disease stage 4 or 5 and you are not taking sodium bicarbonate, talk to your doctor. Okay, time for our number one for today. This is a supplement I picked in a completely arbitrary way. Why, you may ask? Because in a very large review of studies, those taking this supplement were able to benefit from a huge improvement in kidney function. Stage 4 and 5 patients delayed dialysis by years, thanks to... Number 1. Cordyceps Yes, this is an incredibly powerful supplement, especially because it is being used by a very large number of kidney disease patients today and with amazing results. There is a meta-analysis published on the Cochrane Library, which is the cream of the crop when it comes to scientific literature, that involved a huge number of participants, 1,746 CKD patients. What they found out is that among people with CKD who were not receiving dialysis, cordyceps preparations were found to significantly decrease serum creatinine. So yeah, a lot, and I mean a lot of CKD patients in stage 3b, 4 and 5 pre-dialysis are delaying and stage renal failure by years thanks to this supplement. Just keep in mind that you want to get informed about this supplement before starting it. This is why I made a full video about this incredible remedy up here if you missed it. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.